Pramod Madhav, do we have details how long was this module planning this? How long were they operating under the nose of the Tamil Nadu police? Any details of the functioning of this entire module? So this Mubin is dead. What about the five others who have been arrested including Azaruddin, Dalka and, and uh, the others? Well, uh, Gaurav, on this uh, particular thing, we can very clearly mention that even from back to 2019 onwards, they have been under the NIA radar. That is Azaruddin, Firoz, Riyas, Nawaz and Dalka. And uh, as we spoke to the police, they claimed that Dalka was a, the, the actual vehicle belonged to Dalka. Dalka has earlier stated that he has sold the vehicle to Mubin, but cops are not ready to accept it. And that's the reason he's also been uh, arrested currently under UAPA charges. In fact, as we speak, we've been informed that the police was going to take custody of them in the next three days uh, after producing them in front of the, uh, the uh, magistrate and uh, the intensity because uh, it looks like uh, from the, the house of Mubin, cops were, have recovered 75 kilos, not 10 or 20, but 75 kilos, a total weight of potassium nitrate, sulfur, aluminium powder and charcoal and not just that, nails and marbles. In fact, I'm carrying one of the nails from that area. We talk, took it from that area actually and this is one part of it. He has also, which means this has been going, through, going on for a very long period. It was planned properly. We spoke to officials trying to find out what was the trigger mechanism. Was it trying to uh, create a big kind of like a bomb with just a kind of uh, a, 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 like an electric mechanism as a trigger okay. or so. They are not ready to provide any explanation. But uh, this uh, residence of Mubin has been raided multiple times. When we asked him how is that a person could go ahead and buy 75 kilos of total weight of these chemicals which are not used normally by any person, they said that he has bought it in small compounds mostly through online process and he has stacked them up. So it looks like Imagine for, like, how the long way, was this planning like going more on? More and more operations of such kind to cause terror was also on his plan. Okay, Sai, Sai Kiran. What does the WhatsApp status of the deceased suspected suicide bomber indicate? Mubin, apparently, as Pramod Madhav has just been able to tell us that he was collecting explosives for quite some time in small quantities that it reached 75 kilograms. And I want to quote to you what his suicide or his WhatsApp status says and we put it out for the benefit of our viewers. If the news of my death reaches you, forgive my mistake, hide my shortcomings, Participate in my janaza. Pray for me. Does this not indicate he knew he was going to die? Yeah, yes, Garo. And there are there are a couple of things with regards to his WhatsApp status. Firstly, uh, it was in Tamil, and uh, what it was also was you know it was custom designed, so it was not just a mere textual status. So so he had he had he probably had planned every single aspect of you know these entire operations. So even the WhatsApp status was you know graphically designed and custom designed. Secondly, yes, the messaging is very, very clear. You know, it's, it's very important, very poignant in the sense that, you know, he probably knew what he was doing and it was a very high risk business that he was going to undertake and there was every chance that he could possibly lose his life uh, in the due process. So I think, I think this is a very significant, uh, you know, update in terms of, you know, the evidence gathering.